Hi guys, welcome to our latest game. This is the Battle of Maida in 1806. We've got Dan and Charlie today, uh, they're playing. They're going to take on uh, some of the French forces. We've got uh, a French uh, garrison-based force. This was a, a battle that took place um, in Italy when Sir John Stuart let a British force of seven battalions from Sicily onto the Calabrian mainland. Uh, with a view of trying to uh, link up with some Neapolitan forces and cause Napoleon trouble. So we've had a, a local garrison throw a set of forces together for the French to repel this assault by the English. So uh, we've got a commander-in-chief, one of little uh, and large. Uh, one of you is Rainier, who uh, is the commander. And then you're going to have a brigade of French under Compare. So uh, that's uh, this brigade over here. So this brigade has got two light battalions. One is veteran and one is line quality, sorry, regular quality. Got a small line battalion there and a battalion of Swiss. I think the Swiss are only conscripts. That's a fourth battalion from the relevant Swiss, Swiss re regiment, so they're not very experienced. And then we've got a second battalion, uh, this one under Dijonet, uh, and that'll be Charlie. And this one also has two battalions of light French infantry and it's supported by two battalions of Italians. Uh, what counters do those have one? They're conscripts as well, Charlie, the Italians. So your French are good quality troops and the Swiss and the Italians uh, for the French are, or for the French allies are poorer quality. They're facing off a against a relatively small British force here. We've got a combined light battalion there on the edge of the woods. They will fight as elite. Then we've got uh, this regiment here or brigade here of three battalions. Two of them are line quality and one is veteran. Uh, I've had a couple of comments saying, what are the glass beads for? I use them to denote the quality of my troops. So I tend to use green for conscripts, yellow for second rate, blue for line and red for veterans. And if you see two reds, like you do that one there, that's elites. Um, sometimes I don't use any counters at all if the units are of uh, uh, all fairly consistent morale level, or indeed the uh, elite units are obvious, such as uh, the light infantry or guards. Uh, but in this case, we've got a right old mismatch of units and it helps remember uh, which is which. And then we've got a second British brigade here of two battalions of veterans and a foot artillery battery. Foot artillery battery for the British was, a, was actually a mountain battery and equipped with mules. Um, so we're gonna say that's pretty uh, immobile for the purposes of the game. Uh, the British also have this small skirmisher screen of five bases here. The French have a skirmish screen over there, and the British also have some skirmishers uh, in that river. The river is a dry riverbed, so it is available for movement, um, and it will be simply difficult terrain, as will the wooded area on the right. So I hope you all enjoy the game today, and we'll crack on. Let's see who's got initiative and who's going to move first. All right, if you can hear some uh, uh, noise in the background, Charlie. Charlie has got his uh, Napoleonic music up on his little laptop. So we're, we're listening to French marching bands from uh, playing Napoleonic tunes as we're playing this game. All right, let's roll for initiative. Uh, all brigades are active. Yeah. Uh, we've got an eight. The French have got a ten. French get to uh, charge and move first. Okay, so at the end of the first move, I did give the French a free uh, redeploy because um, I placed the units on the table before we started the game. So I allowed uh, Charlie and uh, Dan to change their formations if they chose to, which Charlie did. So he's put his front two attacking uh, French units into column, uh, but still supported by the Italians in line. His gun battery hasn't moved. Uh, Dan decided to redeploy his hussars slightly to his left. Um, and he also has chosen to redeploy three of his attacking battalions into column. All of those columns aren't in mutual supporting distance of one another yet, so uh, the French will have to uh, think about that uh, if they are going to get close to doing uh, infantry assault. And for the British, the British left wing has started moving forward, although the left-hand battalion is trailing as it's slightly slowed down by the end of the battalion being in the woods. The second uh, British uh, regiment down here has just slightly adjusted its position uh, to provide a bit of a reserve. And over on the right, the veteran British battalions on the right have also moved forward. So French have got initiative. Let's uh, let's start with any firing. Let's start with your skirmish screens. Uh, so let's start with your, you, Charlie. In range and my guns. Well, they probably will. It's a 12-inch range, Charlie. Okay, so uh, Charlie's deployed his French, French battalions in line. 
uh, and the British uh, brigade here has continued to move forward. It's pulled its skirmish screen across in front uh, of the Cornwall regiment. Charlie's moved up to be threatening with his hussars. Um, unfortunately, my supporting brigade uh, was hesitant this turn, so it's not been able to move forward. And on the right, these two battalions have remained stationary, so they will be volleying this turn against those oncoming French. Uh, French here have moved forward aggressively uh, and got an infantry assault order off. Um, and as I say, yeah, the Hazars have moved up in support of the infantry attack. All right, French have initiative, so French get to far first. All right, Charlie's just fired his skirmish screen against my British light troops and caused a couple of casualties. He's now going to open fire with his cannon. Uh, this will be at effective range going against the Cornwall regiment. So let's see what we do. Wow, he rolls an 11. That's pretty good. And uh, let's just check the range. Could you check the range there, Charlie? See if it's more than 21. They are four pounders, so they do only have a 21 inch effective range. Yeah, they are in range. So effective range, you rolled an 11. That's three casualties, which goes up to four. And this, so this will be a discipline test at minus one, but plus one because we're veterans. So we passed the discipline test, but we've taken some fairly heavy casualties on that battalion. OK, so the British skirmishers from the wood caused another casualty on the attacking Leger battalion. And the skirmish screen uh, down here caused, uh, was it one more casualty on you, Charlie? Could you check the range for my uh, light battalion? See if they're in range of your skirmish screen. Let's see if I can fire them. Don't think they're in range. Maybe um, nine inch range. No. Uh, I think you'll find that's nine inches. Yeah. yeah, it is nine inches. So they will fire minus two. Uh, we roll a four, which will be nothing for an inferior volley. It will be actually a loss of fire discipline on my lights. That's not great. And then we will do my artillery assault. We're going to fire against your cavalry. This, I think, probably will still be at long range. Might be effective. We'll check in a second. Wow, that's pretty good. That's two bonus casualties and an 11. So if this is at long range, that'll be four casualties and a discipline test. And if it's at effective range, that'll be five casualties and a discipline test. Good shot by the British artillery. OK, so we finished shooting. They did a volley from uh, this battalion here, I think. Are they the Essex? No, they're 28th North Gloucester. I should recognise those. I get confused with my yellow flags. That's the North Gloucesters. So they opened fire and knocked off uh, one of the uh, stands on the French skirmisher screen, but the Royal Scots were out of range. All right, let's roll for ADCs in turn, turn three, isn't it, guys? Well, French have done how many ADCs? Three. three, and the British have only got one. So French get the opportunity for an artillery assault or an infantry assault. We'll deploy the ADCs and come back after initiative. Okay, so Dan and well Dan especially has gone aggressive. He's charged in with his light infantry down here, supported by the Swiss um, against the North Gloucesters, uh, and he's also sent another battalion in against the Royal Scots to support to sort of. Uh, soak up their supporting fire. More concerningly, I've got a difficult choice here. He's charged with his Zars. Now the Zars have already taken five casualties as a result of the artillery firing I did against them last turn. Um, so they're fairly weakened and a superior volley from me in line might be able to drive them off and I am veterans. But if I get caught in the open, it's seriously bad news. But I've only got a 50-50 chance of forming a square I'm because I'm only, I'm veterans, but I've taken four casualties. You also do have, yes, you get a minus, another minus one when you're, when you're shooting. And you might as well be more safe. I'm going to do, I'm not going to try and form square. I'm going to try and drive you off with a volley. This might be foolhardy. Might be the end of the British position. Let's see how we do. Ah, <laughs> double one. A tragedy. Loss of fire discipline. That's really not good. Okay, we'll do the charge results. All right, another critical roll here. Can I do better than a double one? I will get a re-roll because I have a flank support. I've thrown my colonel in. Um, I am on uh, minus two. Uh, the French are unmodified. Oh, no, the French taken five casualties. So the French are on minus one. So I, I'm on minus two. French are on minus one. I roll a five. That's pretty, pretty dire. And the French roll a six. I am going to re-roll the two with my re-roll. 
I'm on a nine, I think will stand. So the nine goes down to a seven, and the six goes down to a five. So that's a charge result of minus two. Cavalry versus infantry. Cavalry take one more casualty. I stand, uh, and the cavalry fall back. All right, the British line holds. All right, doing the charges down here. So defensive volley by the, North, the Gloucesters. They roll a, are you happy with that five, or do you want me to re-roll the five, Dan? It's good, also six to me. Well, that one? No, it's got, I was on a three from my angle. Okay, I'll roll that one again. Oh, that's a five. <laughs> I shouldn't have agreed to that. Superior volley is one casualty on that attacking French battalion. Okay. We'll do the defensive fire from the other one as well at the same time. We roll a six, so that does two casualties on the other attacking French battalion. Now let's work out the charge results. All right, so with the Swiss in, the, in support, this is a veteran battalion charging a veteran battalion. Both have got their commanders attached, so this will be a straight roll off, but the French have the benefit of the re-roll. On the other charge over here, there'll be a plus one advantage to the British simply because of the veteran status and the French. The French unit there being line. All right, we'll start with the veterans. Let's see how we do. French get a six. Wow. You go, you're going to re-roll the six, uh, Dan? No, no. no, no. no. Uh, that was a straight roll off. So unfortunately, only one by five, not by six. Six is a is a disaster. Um, uh, causes me to rout. A five means you take the ground. I retreat and take one d three casualties, which will drive me off the table. So that's not good news. Um, so I'll roll my casualties. I take three casualties. And I've got to retreat off the table. There's a gun in that brigade, this elite one. The gun is in that brigade, yeah. Um, so, Dad, if they thought that they wouldn't just come on because they'd be half strength. Cause it's D depends, battalion. depends. Yeah, it's more than half is a broken brigade, so uh, it doesn't quite work in two, so two battalion to brigades. Casualties yeah, you've got to push that one back as well. All right, let's roll this one. So the British have got a plus one in this one. No re-roll for the French this time. Can we do any better? We get an eight. That's a bit better. And a five, <laughs> a three rather. So the three becomes a two. So I've actually won by six. So that's minus six. So you take 1d3 casualties and retreat. So you take three casualties and retreat. So a retreat result for both of us is 18 inches. Um, but you're in checkerboard, so you only need to fall back uh, six inches straight back, and then you can retreat diagonally. And if you end up behind one of your own supports, you can stop. Right. So six right, another great turn of firing from uh, Charlie and the artillery battery. They caused another four casualties against my 32nd Cornwall Regiment. They're now on eight. Uh, and there was one bounce through as well uh, against the uh, KGL that are behind them. Um, otherwise, the skirmisher fire from the French was pretty ineffective. So we'll now get some return fire from the British. We'll fire the British skirmisher screen against that uh, French yeah, light battalion again. That's one casualty against that light battalion. They're going to fire at the skirmish screen if it's within nine, which it was last time, wasn't it, Charlie? I, I think we measured it last time. Nine inches. Yeah. Yeah, it is. They're not. Okay, so that's a six. A six for a superior volley is two casualties against the skirmisher screen and an inferior volley from these guys at minus four. They uh, they already fired, didn't they, in the charge result? So uh, that was an ineffective anyway. Um, and then down here, we've pivoted our guns, so that's minus two, and they're going to fire uh, through the skirmish screen uh, canister against that attacking French battalion. So let's see how we do with that. Yeah, they do. So that's a nine, so that's not too bad. So at close range, a nine. No, it's seven. Look at minus two. Because I moved, yeah, so that's a seven. So that's two casualties. So one on the skirmish screen, one on the formed battalion, and a discipline two. test on the formed battalion. Okay, they've rolled a six. So they're veterans. But dad, dad. So that goes up to a seven, so they're not affected. Surely you've rolled a seven, you won't be able to do a discipline test, though. Uh, yeah, it is for a close range, for a. Um, at close range of seven is two DT, so it is a discipline test. All right, uh, and then that other battalion fired. Uh, we'll have a look, see whether uh, my Essex can fire against the French skirmisher screen. Okay, so, so some lucky dodgy dice rolling by Charlie there has kept the initiative for the French. They rolled a 10. They had minus two because the Italian brigade 
at the back here unfortunately went hesitant as did the French cavalry partly because the, the French are looking to uh, pile on the pressure they put artillery assault on uh, and have got uh, an ability to keep firing with the light infantry over here and uh, Dan managed to get uh, this brigade as well active for the Allies, we've got artillery assault on our artillery battery, and again, all our brigades are active. But the French get to move first, so French get the opportunity to declare, 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 <laughs> declare any charges. Okay, so with initiative, not surprisingly, the French are trying to drive off this British brigade. They've declared a charge with their light infantry battalion. It will be carnage, and I'm sure this battalion will go. The only hope I've got is I do have artillery assault on my battery and they're able to do passing fire as that British battalion is within nine inches. So uh, let's see how we do. Need a good roll. I roll a six and then for my casualty dice, I get two more casualties. All right, let's see what a six does. A six at close range causes two casualties. So that's four casualties. One will go on the skirmish screen, which goes up to two and three go on the main unit. All right, now let's move charges and see what happens. All right, so uh, the advantage Charlie has uh, from being veteran and charging uh, as a formed unit have been offset given the casualties they took from charging past the British guns. So the French are on a minus one, but the British are also on a minus one because of their casualties and being unformed. So it'll be a straight roll off. Let's see how we do. British roll a seven, totally average. And the French roll an eight. The French do have a re-roll. They can choose whether they do or don't want to re-roll the three. Do you want me to tell you what the result of a, yeah. a win by one is? So on a win by one, you will melee with a LAN and I will melee unformed. It's probably best to just get in. But then I'll say we re-roll. So you Wait, could. If we roll, I go back. I just stand back in front of the artillery. If you go to naught to minus two, you will stop where you are and let loose a volley of one d six against me, which really won't do anything. I'm just going to keep going. In. You're going to go in. Can All see right. What if you did re -roll? Can we see what happened? You can see what you could, we can see what would have happened if Dan had re rolled. And he would have rolled a one, so uh, definitely, definitely a wise choice there, Dan. You know what your luck with the dice is like, so the French charge home. All right, so the British position here remains unmoved. We've moved our skirmish screen back out again. Uh, the Italians have formed up into column to try and drive these annoying British skirmishers away. Otherwise, Charlie's battalions also remain in place, pinning me. He's relying on his artillery to smash this brigade. Over on the flank down here, we've got the painful hand-to-hand -hand combat. I have moved my other British battalion forward. Um, I think if I left it down here, one or other of these battalions would have been able to flank me, so I've decided to go aggressive. We'll see how it plays out. All right, Charlie, let's do your firing first. Let's fire your skirmishers. Well, they get three dice, because this one could also fire them. Too. They get uh, three, dice. three dice now. Gets them. Okay, so it doesn't do anything. Artillery assault, what are you firing at? Same unit. Yep. Okay, so you will get bounced through. You get an Seven. eight. Was an eight, wasn't it, Charlie? Yeah. Okay, let's just check an eight. Effective uh, range. At effective range is two casualties and do the bounce through. Okay. Nothing. So you're on ten casualties. Oh, God, that's really not good. I really need to pull those out and swap those two battalions around. All right, uh, that's your firing completed, Charlie? All right, you know, you could wheel that battalion slightly and start volleying against my skirmishers, but perhaps something for next turn. All right, uh, Dan, any firing from you? You've got your skirmishers down here. Yeah, two dice against my guns. Oh, he's done it again. I can't, I can't do artillery assault anymore. But I remember I do cause a falter test if I cause just one more casualty on you. They're on four because uh, then you'd have lost your skirmish screen. You can do an inferior volley for your small battalion that's facing off against those British that have just moved up. Double six. No, a six <laughs> instead, not quite a double six, just a six. That's one casualty against me. That's your firing done, we'll mark those up and then we'll come back with the British return. So the left flank for the British is still doing pretty well. Our little skirmish screen in the woods here have caused another casualty on the uh, French light battalion. They've now taken six all from skirmish fire, so they're uh, really suffering. Uh, the French skirmish screen here again lost another base due to the combined fire of the 32nd Cornwall 
Ah, and we didn't take minus two off for their 10 casualties. Can't remember where that got to. You might, if you've got one casualty on there, I've got take, two. take, take one casualty off. They got, they, they got, they got a nine. That'd be right, minus two. which would be a seven. And that was an inferior volley, we said, wasn't yes. it? In fact, it would be a five. Okay, so that would be no effect. Okay. Uh, over here, the we lost fire discipline for this infantry battalion. And our guns had a go against the skirmishers. And I thought I'd caused the full to test and broken the skirmish screen. Uh, because I rolled a six. At minus two is a four, which is one casualty. But Charlie pointed out to me I'd already taken five casualties. So that was a further minus one. So unfortunately, we lost a further casualty off our gun crew. And there's been a little firing over here on the right, and the British have caused that small battalion to go unformed. Final action of the turn will be the close assault as the French try and break the uh, 28th Gloucester. I think, I think for the first time in uh, living memory, we've uh, actually got this close assault right, and we've remembered that a unit attacking in column with a LAN actually gets an extra bonus attack dice. So there'll be six dice for the French and only three for the Gloucesters. I know the Gloucesters can do it. I've seen Dan's dice rolling before. And we do cause two casualties, but unfortunately, Dan causes five. That'll be a wipeout and the Gloucesters break. All right, so uh, all of the left flank is active, as is Dan's brigade on the right. However, we've just spotted that this brigade has now got a command and control problem. These front two battalions are in command. Uh, with the brigade commander, but these back two battalions will have to remain where they are until the commander gets back in command range. And uh, the good old hussars have gone hesitant yet again, so that's a bit of a stymie in the um, uh, French attack. But now we've got the full to test, so let's see if this flank collapses. I've got a re-roll, I roll a one, that's not good, that's a Savoir Keeper, and a five. I think we obey orders, so the Royal Scots stay in action. Right, let's it's roll for minus, initiative. It's, it's minus one because they're, they're at half effect because they've got a casualty and they've lost the battalion. No, it doesn't affect so full to test. They're under half strength. You need to get a minus one for full to test. Well, I've still got a five. I know you don't get a minus one. Anyway, we'll check that off camera and uh, and we'll come back. Let's uh, roll roll for initiative. Dan, you're on minus one. You're and on minus I one. think. All right, well, we'll check this before uh, we four roll for initiative. And just to clarify for the benefit of the, uh, benefit of the viewers, who was right, uh, who was right, Charlie? <laughs> I was right. There are no modifiers on falter tests, so um, they have rallied and obey orders. All right, let's roll for initiative. Uh, let's see if you can do it for, like, the seventh turn in a row. Ten, nine. Uh, no, the Allies actually do get initiative, and we'll get to charge and move first in turn. I think we're on about turn six. OK, so British skirmishers have fired at that Italian battalion, caused a casualty, didn't we, Charlie? Um, we lost fire discipline as my lights opened up against the French line there, moved forward to put some pressure on. Down here, these units uh, fired at the skirmish screens, didn't do anything. We fired at the guns with our own skirmishers, didn't do anything. Final firing of the turn. Uh, no, no, not quite final firing. We'll fire the guns. We're going at close range against that French battalion. Minus three. But minus three, because we moved and because of our casualties. So that's a nine, which goes down to a six. So at close range, that's two casualties on this French battalion. So they're up to nine. So I think you need to swap them. This is where you need to do a swap in place down and move forward with the Swiss now. Yeah. Um, so then I have to start shooting the Swiss. Uh, and then I will do a superior volley from my uh, Royal Scots against that small French battalion over there. We do a nine. How many casualties have I taken to down on that unit? Okay, so that's four casualties on the small battalion and a discipline test. Okay, so how many casualties have they taken? Uh, six. So that's a minus one. Yeah, so you'll just go unformed. Um, should I fire my guns? Cause All right, okay, yeah, you're firing, uh, Charlie. What are you going to fire at? Against them. Okay, yeah. Don't you want to do the skirmishes first against them? In case the guns don't do it. Yeah, that's probably a better idea, Dan. Because the gun, the, the skirmishers might kill them off, and then you can fire the guns at something else. One, one casualty. I, I only see one. Yeah. Okay, a ten. Dead, 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 dead. That battalion uh, collapses under the weight of fire, 
uh, and you've got a bounce through against the KGL, which doesn't cause a casualty. So that will be a fault test on this brigade. All right, so the other British units are all active. We've now got the falter test on this brigade. We've got a reroll. We roll a four, which is a fallback. Eight, eight I, inches. Shall I show and, you how far that will go off? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm not sure. They are elites, so I'm not sure that it's that bad, Char Charlie. So for elite units, I obey orders on a four. So they can stay where they are. But no, it, was, it wasn't an elite battalion because there was one it elite is. and then there was a veteran. So that would be elite. But the only ones we've got left are elites. Um, it's a rally otherwise if it's a veteran brigade. Um, um, so that would count as a hesitant brigade then. Oh, I'm happy to take it as a rally. So that's a hesitant brigade, but, uh, but it is a no longer faltering. All right. Uh, that's it for the Allies. And that's us roll the activation for the French. Which one's that one, Charlie? Just so I know. Okay, and then the Italians. Active. Okay, Cavalry. and the cavalry. Yay! They're active this turn. And then the other French brigade got is hesitant. You got a reroll. Yay! All right, everything's active. So it's uh, I, a Britisher at minus one. So they're on an eight. An eight. Uh, no, I had initiative last turn, so I think you'll find the British retain initiative this turn. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, so we've had quite a lot of charges. The French Hussars have charged and the French skirmish or British skirmish screens fallen back behind them. Down here on the right, the Swiss have charged the gun battery um, and have taken over the assault from their damaged fellows. Over here, the Royal Scots charged the unformed uh, French line battalion who will have to do a defensive volley and have been countercharged by their French colleagues. Uh, that'll be a complicated one to work out. Let's do some defensive fire and see whether these charges go in. Okay, it's, it's not looking good for the Allies. So uh, loss of fire discipline here. The Italians have charged further through the woods. They're now flanking this British position. The British skirmisher screen's fallen back uh, ahead of them. The British skirmisher screen here has also fallen back, uh, driven back by the chargers. Got a, perhaps a chance here to break this French brigade. Uh, and let's see how we do. So closing fire, this will be at minus one because uh, we have five casualties. Uh, let's see how we do. Not great, we roll a five. Uh, no, not for close range. That'll be one casualty, but that won't be enough to stop the Swiss. That takes them up to two. All right, let's do the charge results as the Swiss look to charge in. So the Swiss are are uh, second rate, um, but that will mean they count as line troops in this. Um, the artillery are veterans, so the artillery get a plus one. Um, all right, we'll come back in a second and we'll just check through the modifiers. All right, roll this charge. So the British have a support, as do the French. Uh, French get a bonus of one. We've got a seven, a they've got a six. French can do a re-roll. I'm going to do a re-roll. I'm going to re-roll my one. So I'm on a 10. Oh, and you're on an eight. So that's a minus one. So infantry versus artillery, you stop and volley. So roll 1d6. If you get four, five or six, you cause me a casualty. You do. That takes the guns up to six casualties. And the charge stops at that point. All right, rolling here for the British. Ah, oh, terrible roll. Six plus two is an eight. All right, let's roll your small battalion. They're at minus three, Dan. Eight. Okay, so that's eight against three. That, and then roll the other one. Two dice. Ah, eight against seven. So I have one by one. So we will go into a melee, I think. Melee with a land defender. Melee's unformed. Uh, but the French will have a decent chance because they're going to have a lot of dice in this one. And, we're in and you're in column, but you haven't got a land. Okay, so so many units are so damaged, there's no real result from all of that firing. So we'll go on to hand-to-hand -hand combat over here. So I will get uh, six dice because I am veteran. Uh, we will get um, five dice for the small battalion. Is the small battalion unformed, Dan? Yeah, I think so. Five, so that goes down to four, and it goes down to three because it's a small battalion. And how many casualties they got? Six. Okay, so they lose another one, so they're down at two. The other one starts at five. It's unformed, so that goes... Just two for a reason. 
the starts at five, uh, loses one for being unformed and one for its casualties. So I think you've got five dice. Yeah. Okay. Four, fives, or sixes. Somehow, it's an import. Know. It's an import roll. Drop dice don't count. Ah, oh, terrible. I've only got two. Oh my <laughs> gosh. And the French have caused four. Oh, that's atrocious. French win by two. Okay, so Charlie's redoubtable Italians have decided not to charge the skirmishers. Uh, they had finally some advice from their commander-in-chief. They planned to chase the skirmishers most of the way back to London, uh, but the commander-in-chief finally pointed out that they were actually on the flank of the uh, light, elite light battalion. So they have charged into the flank of the elite lights out of the woods. Uh, and you can charge at targets you can't see as long as they're within nine inches, and they were. So uh, even though the woods were blocking line of sight, uh, you can pull a charge off. Uh, it assumes you have scouts out. Um, so, uh, yeah, they've gone into the flank there. That will be bad news. And otherwise, down here, the Swiss, again, have charged the guns. Um, I think Charlie is dying, uh, positively gagging to uh, charge in with this Swiss. So let's see how we do, and we'll do the charge of the Swiss. Okay, let's roll for this flank attack. Uh, net plus two for the French. We roll a six, it's not Italians. a great start. Italians seven. roll a nine. seven, which becomes a nine, so you've won by three. So I retreat uh, and suffer one D3 casualties, and you take the ground. All right, second charge. This will be minus two for the artillery volley uh, due to the number of casualties they've taken. Seven goes down to a five at close ranges. One more casualty on the Swiss. How many have they taken now, Charlie? Three. Okay, so they still don't count as a uh, raw battalion. So you only took one casualty on the charge. We've both got commanders. We've both got re-rolls. So this will be a straight roll-off. You've got minus two, though. Cause you've but I've got minus two because of my casualties. You're right. So, yeah, so net plus two to the French with re-rolls. Ah, oh, British do well, they get a 10. And it uh, looks like the French are going to be thrown back. Oh, they don't, don't do too bad. Eight. Plus oh, two. plus two is 10. So it's a draw. Do you want to re-roll your six? Uh, no, <laughs> no. No, funnily enough, Dan, I don't want to re-roll. You probably want to re-roll your four, Dad, because um, in the combat you only get one die, because minus two, because you're casualties, you're going to get... It's not combat. Slaughter. On a naught, you just get stopped, and he does a volley. Oh, so, Dan, so one volley, <laughs> one, one, one shot from your column as it stops again in front of the guns, if you can cause another catch. One just shot. one dice, just one shot. It no, does. No. Well, they're up to seven. It's nearly those broken, this brigade. Those to kill those. So, That's again, this will be another opportunity for the French skirmishers to, uh, to have a go. All right. That's charges for the turn. Um, We'll now move on to normal movement and then firing. OK, so we're just starting the firing of turn seven and uh, Charlie's opened up with his skirmishers and he's caused the last casualty on the British skirmish screen that was just in front of them. So that'll be a full to test on this brigade. Uh, Dan, I think, or was it Dan who's now going to fire with the artillery or no. was it the different skirmishers. unit that's going to fire? OK, yes, these skirmishers down here are going to have a go at the artillery. Let's see what they can do. Oh, that was a six, and it flipped over to a three. So the artillery is still all right. All right, Charlie, what about firing with the guns? Okay. 11. Oh, my gosh, that's pretty good. So 11, that's going to be at long range, though, isn't it, yeah. uh, Charlie? So an 11 is two casualties and a discipline test. And you get a six, you get the cannon. And you, what did you roll? Six. All right, we got a six. Sorry if I wasn't filming that, guys. That is the last casualty on the cannons, so that'll be a double fault test. That doesn't, uh, doesn't do it anymore. But another unit lost to this brigade will remove the cannons. Um, any more firing, Charlie? No. I don't think there is, is there? Can't find from All right, we will uh, take those casualties off, come back with the brigade. All right, a fault test on the line brigade uh, that's just lost its cannon and its skirmisher screen. A three is a retire. We'll do the reroll. A one, Savoy Keeper, the Central British Brigade breaks. We've simply got this brigade hiding on the edge of the woods and the second light battalion also hiding on the edge of the woods. Both of the other two British battalions are within an inch or two of the edge of their table. And the French army, although it's pretty battered and worn, uh, we've got units on 
Nine casualties, eleven casualties, five casualties, seven casualties. But this brigade, yeah, this brigade's pretty fresh. So I think we have to say the Frenchies have done it. Well done, well done, Charlie. Well done, Dan. Hope you enjoyed this game. An unusual turn up. Don't often see French uh, breaking through and destroying elite British forces. See you all again next time. Remember, leave us a comment uh, and uh, do subscribe to the channel. Cheers, everyone.